Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Yantan. Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP and Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party, NDPP, will jointly contest elections in Nagaland in 2023. In a joint statement signed by BJP in charge, Nagaland, Nalin Kohli and Secretary General NDPP Apu Mehta issued last evening said the leadership of the two parties led by BJP President J.P. Nada and Chief Minister Nipirio of NDPP have mutually agreed to continue the alliance with seed sharing in a forthcoming election to the Nagaland Legislative Assembly of 40 East 20 wherein the NDPP will contest in 40 seats and the BJP will contest in 20 seats. The statement also said that there will be no friendly contest in any constituency. It said a core committee of NDPP and BJP will formulate the election strategy to decide the seats at an appropriate time to decide in which seat each party will contest respectively. Mention may be made that the NDPP-BJP alliance in Nagaland was formed in 2018 under the visionary leadership of PM Narendra Modi and the then BJP President Amit Shah. Meanwhile, in a, in a tweet, Assam Chief Minister Himanda Biswa Sarma said he and Chief Minister Nipirio met with the Union Home Minister Amit Shah yesterday at his Parliament House office. Sarma also said he is happy to share that the BJP and NDPP will jointly contest the forthcoming State Assembly election. Chief Minister Nipirio also tweeted that under the visionary leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Home Minister Amit Shah, their alliance is further strengthened. Rio said they remain committed to work for lasting peace and accelerated all-round development of the state. The Lok Sabha yesterday passed the Family Courts Amendment Bill 2022 by voice vote. It validates the existence of the three family courts in Himachal Pradesh and two in Nagaland, with retrospective effect. The bill also seeks validation of the decisions taken by the two states and the family courts. The family courts located at Shimla, Taramshala and Mandi in Himachal Pradesh will come into force with a retrospective effect of February 15, 2019. The family courts located at Dimapu and Kohima in Nagaland will come into force with retrospective effect from November 12, 2008 on enactment of the bill. The enactment was necessitated as it came to light in connection with a case that the central government notification did not exist in respect to these five family courts. Replying to the discussion in the Lok Sabha over the bill, Law and Justice Minister Giren Rejuju requested the states to ensure at least a family court in each district. Commemorating Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav, Kohima district celebrated Bichli Mahotsav, and Ujwala Divas at Mezoma village with the theme Ujwal Parat, Ujwal Pavishya Power at 2047 yesterday. The program was held under the Ministry of Power and Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Speaking at the program, MLA and Chairman DPDP Kohima Genyez Jaco Nakro said that Prime Minister Narendra Modi is concerned for rural populace to get each household electrified with uninterrupted power supply, various schemes on the power sector have been implementing in the state in order to achieve its vision to electrify every nook and corner of the country. He thanked the central government for providing various schemes under the power sector and also the state government for implementing the vision of the Prime Minister. Nakro also stressed on the important role of being a responsible consumer by clearing the power bills in time as to have uninterrupted power supply. Deputy Commissioner Newland Sarah S. Jamir has encouraged the people of Newland District to get vaccinated with COVID-19 vaccine and booster dose. In an advisory, Jamir said, with Newland District having low vaccination percentage, urged the general public to avail the services from the District Community Health Centre. The advisory is issued in view of the rise in COVID-19 cases in the country as well as in the district. The advisory stated that social, cultural, sports, political, religious, entertainment, academic function and all other kinds of public gatherings are requested to observe the COVID-19 appropriate behaviour. While all the shop owners under the district are directed to arrange facilities for hand sanitization at their shop's premises. Further, the Deputy Commissioner has made the wearing of face masks compulsory in all public places and markets. That is all we have in this morning news bulletin. Have a good day.